Hey guys, my name is George Holiday. I'm here as part of Made on the Road, the production company that is literally on wheels. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to create a crowd vocal. Many of you guys have asked on a couple of productions that I've done how I've managed to get the vocals sounding so big with the harmonies and some shouts and various things like that. I love doing shouts in, in my productions. So today I'm going to show you one of the tracks I've done. If you have any questions about this video or if you've got any other future video ideas that you want to put forward to us, leave a comment down below. I'll make sure I cover those subjects. So if there's something you want to know about Logic or if there's something you want to know about how I use Logic in a certain way, then let me know. Leave a comment down below. Um, and if you've not got anything to ask, then just leave a nice little friendly thumbs up. All right, so this is the track we're going to be using today. And this is what we're going to be making today. So I've got two layers here. I've got harmonies, I've got double vocals, as well as main vocals. Let's make sure they're all on. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I'm just a little out of it. Okay, cool. Uh, what I didn't do there, sorry for future George editing this video, is put my headphones on. So it's mainly these crowd vocals such as, let's just do the shouts on their own. I'm not lost. How to get that kind of sound. Now the trick is to not, not always go so big. You don't want to drown everything in reverb and drown everything in delay because as I've heard many producers, many um, music makers before say less is more. So you can have the effect of a big vocal by just having re different recording techniques and using little bits of reverb techniques and uh, compression and things like that, but you don't need to do like 50,000 recordings to get a really big vocal sound. And there's a couple of tricks. So let's get going on the first tip on how to make a cool sounding crowd vocal. Now the first one is layering. In the session we were being a bit silly, but I do like to name my different ones. So I would like to welcome you to who I have named, <laughs> don't know why, as Jeff. This is Jeff. In fact, let me remove the effects and you can hear exactly what Jeff sounds like. So this is John's version of who we named Jeff. So that's Jeff being done by John. Now this is, oh that sounded bad didn't it? <laughs> um, this is Jeff, my version of Jeff. So the reason, before I go any deeper, I've named the different things is because what we want to do is create different vocal tones. If there's only one of you doing this, you want to create different vocal tones rather than just doing the same thing 16 times. You want to go some slightly higher pitch, some slightly lower pitch, some with a wide vocal and some with like quite a thin narrow throat, throat sound. And just for ease, I've named the different things. So that was Jeff, this is Dave. Not lost. So it sounds a bit more rugged. My version of Dave mixed in with John. Not lost. I'm not lost. There you go. So. As we go through and, and do different versions, this is Darren. Not lost. What we're doing is creating essentially eight different people in your choir. Not lost. And there's Angry Alan. And together, just without any effects, I'm not lost. that sounds like a crowd of different people. So try using a different vocal tone. The second thing to do is to think about panning. Now, when it gets to mixing of this tune, what we want to do is make all these Jeffs and Daves and Darrens sound like they are stood amongst each other in an array around where you are as a listener. So using different scopes of panning, as you can see here, I've got quite a wide spread of different pannings all the way around. Now I want his vocals to, I want this crowd thing to sound quite wide. So what you could do is bring it all the way around so that maybe there's only 10% on each side and then 20% and then 30% all the way around to 60. That way you get a full spread. But what you might want to do and consider is leaving space in the middle for the, for the lead vocal, which is what I've done here. So I've left space in the middle for the lead vocal and for the doubles and things like that. And then the crowd vocal I've left really far out to the side. But that doesn't mean you want to stick everything hard left and hard right. You want to just create a bit of an arc around yourself so that it creates the effect almost of a choir being stood around a microphone. So panning is the second tip that I really advise exploring to so get that really wide, thick sound of vocals. The next one I want to talk about is reverbs. So here I've got three different reverbs. I've got this one. I'm not which is a room reverb, so it makes it sound like they're literally in a room. Let me turn it on halfway through. I'm not lost. That's without. I'm not lost. 
that's with. It just makes it sound like they're stood in a, in a hall almost. So this is without again. I'm not enough. This is with the second reverb. I'm not enough. Really long tail on that one. But quite distant as well. It's not quite an in your face uh, reverb, it's just subtle. This is without. I'm not enough. And this is with the final reverb. I'm not enough. Those two admittedly are quite similar. I'm not enough. More of a chamber, that one. So all together, we've got this. Sounds huge. It's just got a nice long echo in it. It's not too too big, it's not too rich, it's not going to overpower the main vocal, but it sounds big. Now, I've also applied these to all of these harmonies as well. So it's worth noting that when I'm adding this and I'm panning these hard left and right, I'm considering what else is there. So I'm considering the fact that we've got loads of other harmonies here um, further into the mix, which you can see are all panned about roughly 40%. So we don't want these other vocals to get too much in the way of that. So what we want to be considering here is that, you know, with these backing vocals, where are these all panned? So we've got 13 through to about 40. So if we're between those two zones with our shouting vocals, then we're going to start having a bit of a clash. So what I want to do is keep all of these vocals, that's at 64, we want to keep them above 40 and there are they are all above 40. So that keeps the stereo spread. So you've got main vocal, you've got BVs, and then you've got shouting vocals. And, and that gives you a full wide spread. So the vocals are all going to sound huge. All, every bit of space is filled with vocals. And this. Is what it sounds like on its own. I'm not They sound great to me. They blend really nicely. It adds lots of weight behind the vocals. I could go more. I could do more layers. I could add bigger reverbs. But for me, I think it's gonna it's gonna subtract from the main main lead vocal if I just have too much going on. I don't want it to be too distracting. Um, and I think they sound big enough for this particular track. You could go bigger. You could go smaller. Now the only other one I want to show you does involve a plugin, but I want to show it to you anyway. Um, so let's use Jeff here. Good old Jeff. Now, it's this plugin by Antares and it's called Avox Choir. And what this does is it turns one vocal into four, eight, 16 or 32 vo voices. Now, you've got to be a little bit cautious when you're using this because the more you use it, the more phasing you can have. If, if you're not sure what phasing is, it's where the voice sounds too digital. You can just set, you can just, they're clashing against each other and the frequencies sound a bit weird. It almost makes the vocal sound like a B is the best way I can describe it. So you want to avoid that as much as possible, but using it lightly here and there, like I have done on here, this is the difference between Jeff without the effect on. I'm not love. And this is Jeff with. Not love. I'm not love. So you can hear it kind of makes it sound like there's more than one vocal. I'm not love. I'm not love. I like using this. If I, let me just, let me just put that up to 32 as well so you can hear. I'm not love. It kind of sounds like there's more than one vocal, which is the intention of the plugin. So let's put that back down. I'm going to do those Jeffs as 16 on both sides, and then we can have a listen. I'm not love. I'm not love. So from four recordings, I'm not love. that already sounds pretty big. So if you are looking at some certain plugins that kind of create that effect, I tend to use this if I've been sent vocals and I want to make things sound bigger but without having to re-record stuff if, if we're working online. Um, I think this is a great, great way of doing that. And it's a very easy way to turn, even if you do 16 vocals, to have this effect on maybe four of those just adds that whole nother layer. So definitely highly recommend using one of those. This isn't a sponsored advert for Antares. I just recommend this plugin. I just think it's a, it's a really fun one to start using. So that's it. Really short tutorial, a couple of little tips and tricks there. The main thing to consider is how you're using the space. So use reverbs and then also consider how you can utilize your voice in very different ways so that you can create the sound and effect of, of a choir. It's going to take 
a bit of recording. It's gonna take some time. You're gonna to have to put in some time there to, to record as much as you, you can and want. Be cautious if you have loads of vocals of things getting messy. And if you make something with these techniques, then be sure to tag me in on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. If you have any more thoughts, any more questions, then leave them down in the comments below. Head over to our website, www.madeontheroad.co.uk. And if you're interested in working with me on a production of some kind for your own music or just having the conversation, I'm open to just having the conversation. Email me, team at madeontheroad.co.uk. We can get a call booked in to have a chat about it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, particularly now. Take care and remember, never stop creating.